Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well Divi Supreme have added another module today that makes 44 in their collection and it's a breadcrumbs module. Breadcrumbs display a hierarchical representation of the navigation links. It'll also improve your SEO which is great. Just what you want. Now they've got a free download you can download here. I'll put this link below if you want to use the download it's got some nice examples here just roll on down and hit the download layout I'm using Google Chrome so mine's downloaded it to my browser window here and to use it we need to go to our dashboard to our Divi library there's the Divi library and I've got my download in a folder here hit the import and export button we want to import it I'm simply going to drag it across and drop it in the little box there or you can browse to it with the choose file button I'm going to hit the import Divi Builder layout and there we go it's all imported for us so to use it let's create a new page Obviously you want to use the Divi Builder, we'll give our page a name. I want to choose a pre-made layout. Now you will need Divi Supreme Modules Pro installed and activated to use this today. And let's go to our saved layouts. And there it is, Divi Breadcrumb Module Layout. And if we scroll on down, here are our demo layouts. They got some nice little layouts here. It's very easy to do custom too, and I'll do that in a second and show you how to do it. Perhaps we want to save this one here and use it on another page or the rest of our site. So let's save it to our library and hit the little round icon just to the left of the trash can there. Call it bread one. Call yours what you want. Once saved, let's save our draft. Exit the Visual Builder and we'll go to a different page. Let's add it to this page perhaps. Okay, so I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. I'm going to go down, add a new row. Single column. Obviously you make yours just how you want to. Add from Library. And there's the one we've just saved, Bread1. And there it is. As you can see, it's got the navigation, the home link with a nice little icon there and the actual page that we're on. And of course, I'd want this at the top if it was a breadcrumb. And that's a nice little feature. But if you wanted to do your own custom one, let's just get rid of this one. It's like any other module. Click on the add module link. These are all the regular modules that come with a fantastic Divi theme. And all these blue ones here are the Supreme Modules modules. So let's hit the Supreme Breadcrumbs. There's the new module right there. Now you can choose what your home page wants to say there. Generic version. You can choose the icon that you want it to show right there. I'm quite happy with that little house. You can put in a custom separator icon if you wish. And you can give it a full background color. I'm going to leave mine with my page background there. If we go to design, here's our items. Let's give it purple background color. Let's give it five picks top and bottom. Just put in the five, it'll put the picks. Hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side. And let's give it 10 picks left and right. Great. You can choose your fonts and font weights and all the normal things here if you wish. Let's make our text white. You can increase the size, letter spacing, spacing etc. Here, I'm going to leave mine just as it is. If you want to give it round corners, give it round corners here. With this little chain checked, it'll do all four at once. If you want to give it separate corners and make some weird shapes with it, just uncheck that. I'm not going to give it a border. 
Let's give it a bit of box shadow just for fun. Great. Now you can individually style the home icon separately if you want to. Well, that's a pretty ugly color. I think I'm going to leave mine back at white. You can also customize your separators if you want to. Again, I'm going to leave mine as the default there. But of course, you want to customize the current link also. So again, I'm going to do exactly the same padding wise, 5 and 10. And let's make this a different color. Let's make it blue, perhaps. There we go. And I'm going to leave everything else exactly the same. So it's really easy to use. And that's a nice little feature to have on your site. And this sort of schema does actually help the SEO as well. Google bots, etc. will read this and know how your site's actually put together, which is a good thing. So there you have it. There is Divi Supreme Modules, a new Supreme Breadcrumb module. Fantastic addition. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.